Hi, welcome back. Uh, this is Robert with OddRandomThoughts.com and we're going to continue in our color separation for screen print series. Um, today is going to be kind of a short tutorial, but we're going to go over how to record actions in Adobe Illustrator CS6 and uh, what actions are is they're a series of keystrokes or um, things that you want to to do in Adobe Illustrator that you want to execute all in a row uh, you can record what's called an action and you can assign certain uh, keys to that action so you just hit a a combination of keys on the keyboard and it will execute your action for you. So this comes in real handy for for color separating because there's uh, a lot of steps involved sometimes and if you can uh, simplify that into just uh, a couple of keystrokes then that can really make your job easy. So uh, if you don't have your action window open uh, you can come up here to window and click on actions and that will open it for you. Um, I have it docked here in the sidebar. It's the little play button. Uh, as you can see, I have a bunch already recorded that I use. Um, but uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create them from scratch. So let's jump right in. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll come up here to the little options button here and we'll create a new set and uh, let's call that separations uh, you can name it whatever you wish click OK and it will put it here in your dock and then uh, let's uh, just start a new document here uh, and we'll use this here in a minute uh, actually let's go ahead and just create a little box here and uh, we'll color that black uh, so we can see it good and then uh, what we're gonna do is let's create an action that will open our template uh, that we created in one of the previous tutorials and paste our, our, our artwork in the template for us so we can just hit uh, combination of keys it'll open our template paste our artwork on it and then we can begin to work with it so first thing you want to do um, now that we have our folder here for our actions let's go ahead and uh, first let's select our box and cut it from the page okay because that's a part that will not always be consistent. That's something you need to remember with actions is if it's not something that's going to happen the same every time then you don't want to put it in an action because uh, let's, let's say you're working on a piece of art and you select uh, you've got several objects on the artboard you select one and you want to paste it in the template. Well if you the next time you do the same thing you won't be selecting that same piece of art so um, you want to leave that step out of your action so now that we have the artwork cut from our page so we're going to create a new action we'll call this open template and make sure that it is in your folder that you created um, then we're going to pick a function key. Now you can pick any key that you wish. Uh, I'm going to choose F12 and I'm going to assign shift uh, to that uh, key as well. So I'll have to hold shift and hit F12 in order to execute this. Uh, and then we're just going to hit record. Um, now when we hit record, everything that we do while that's recording is going to be added uh, into this action so we'll hit record then we'll come up here we'll go to file we'll go ahead and open uh, our template that we have uh, that we created in our previous uh, tutorial and then we'll hit control V to paste our artwork okay 
then uh, just go ahead and hit stop playing and record and then we can even go up here and uh, insert stop and uh, you don't really want to put a message for this um, for this action because it will pop up every time you execute the command so we'll just hit allow continue and hit OK alright so now that's done so let's uh, let's go ahead and close this out and we'll test it out so if we hold shift and hit F12 there you go that just uh, played that action um, it opened our template pasted our artwork in there and so that one is complete okay so now let's go uh, back to the separations and let's say that we want one that's going to size our artwork to 12 inches wide but we want to keep the proportions constrained okay so let's uh, go to create a new action we'll call this size 12 inch wide and we'll pick uh, let's just pick F7 and shift for that one as well uh, now you don't have to pick shift or control for these actions or you can pick any combination of just however you want your key to work um, so let's go ahead and hit record and then uh, what we'll do is uh, now that we've got our art selected is we'll come down here to our transform tool be sure the little chain here for constraining your proportions is selected and that you have the top center reference point and then we'll go over here and we'll do if you remember uh, six inches is our center point on the x-axis zero for our y-axis and then we'll do twelve inches for our width okay and so that uh, that completes that action we'll hit stop and we'll just go ahead and insert another stop into that I, I just like to do that so we'll go ahead and do it that way and then uh, let's go ahead and size this back down move it over here and we'll try our action out so let's hold shift and hit F7 okay so it it sized it at 12 wide keeping the proportions constrained so that's uh, another good action okay so let's uh, let's size this down again and let's say that we have a tall skinny piece of artwork that we know uh, if we go 12 wide it's going to be way too tall so if we want to stop our height at 14 inches uh, let's go up here we'll create a new action we'll call it size 14 tall and we'll do let's say F6 and shift we'll go ahead and record and uh, we'll select our art then we'll come back to our transform tool we'll do the center point at 6 0 and then instead of putting in a width we'll come here to height and put in our 14 inches for our height okay so that will create our 14 inch tall artwork uh, just hit stop and of course we'll insert our stop again okay so let's uh, test this one out to be sure it works so we'll select our art hold shift and hit F6 and there you go so it sized it okay so these are some very good uh, actions that you can create that you can use for color separation especially if you're using the template like we created in the other uh, tutorial so you can uh, kind of come up with your own uh, ideas and uh, for whatever methods uh, you're using on your uh, color separations um, but I hope this has been helpful uh, kind of shows you how to create some actions to help you along in your your color separating so uh, if you have any questions or comments be sure and leave them below and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe we'll have some more uh, videos coming up in this series uh, dealing with other elements uh, in arts 
uh, for color separation so hope you enjoyed and have a great day